this module, this is what you're dealing with. The enemy is the vibration. The heat, they have this, this heat sink, that metal sink that you see on it, to extracts the heat from the components, especially chips. Microprocessors are, are, are the chips. There's not one here. Are the huge, huge chips that I'll show you, about 200 pins. That's the microprocessor, not the module. The module is not the microprocessor. That's wrong information. I've worked on these for 30 years, the component level. The microprocessor is something that, lo that looks like this, but has over 200 pins on it. That's the brains of the gang. So again, this is the uh, this is the old technology, old technology, old technology. These are still used on power supply boards. When you need power supply, you still need through hole. When you need the regular one for, for other ones now, this is surface mount. This is what you're dealing with, and these are the these are the components, these chips that come off. As such, there's cracks on the boards also. Cracks meaning. As you can see over here, we don't have hardwired connections. There's a connection from here to here. See this green line, the land? There's a connection from here to here. Sometimes this could be broken right here. Sometimes they could, this, you see this one over here? That could be broken and cracked. That means, that means on this one, it's not making any contact from one component to the other component. That's one problem. The other problem, guess what the other problem is? Now you talk about double-sided boards. So this one can be connected to this one from the top to the bottom. Once it's cracked, forget it. You can't even fix it. It goes right through the board. Like I said, you can't believe other things what people say in other channels. This is what I've been dealing with, like I said, for component level over 30, 30 years, close to 35 years to these types of things. You have to know how to unsolder them and solder them with leaded solder. And now we use unleaded solder. You have to ground yourself. You have to I put on a ground mat. This is just a scrap metal that I'm showing you. You have to ground yourself, ground this, and ground everything. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please go to my channel, Automotive Electronic Schematics by Joseph. This was a long video, but I have to show you what we're dealing with. We're talking about module computer boards. This is what we're dealing with in an in in automotive world. Automotive world is not, technically is not component level, except when you change um when you change sensors and things like that but otherwise you just change the whole board i used to repair the boards for them i used to repair the the clusters for them with your gauges until they said you know what it's just not economic to, p to pay someone two three hours to sit on the bench and to to, to um troubleshoot them you could buy, you tell the customer to buy a new one they want a cheaper one so that's what it is so anyway but this is what we're dealing with Go to my channel, Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto. My other one, Automotive Electronic Schematics by Joseph.